Do it again. This is a procedure from the LX200 GPS group forum to change the misreading of the GPS clock on this telescope. And I got to move the scope to assume that it's polar alignment, uh, polar mode, which is there. Enter. The instructions say to do a dummy one star alignment, so I have to polar align first I'm assuming I've done that. Well, we're going to assume it's on Octarius, the star, to align. I hit enter. And then the instructions say to hold down the mode button to get alternate menu. So you hold it down for a few seconds. The RA and deck menu come up, which is what it wanted me to go to. And I hit go to. And then I hit enter and enter. And like the instruction said, it, 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 it'll start a go-to but base, and basically not move. So I heard it do that. Now go to the time screen so you can scroll. The date was right. The time is still off. And to adjust the local time forwards or backwards by one hour, you go to the time screen or use serial commands. Well, I can't get to the time from here to adjust it. As you can see, it just grows through all the stuff again. So go to mode. Go to setup. Go to time. Enter in the time. It's ten o'clock. Oops. Ten o'clock. Enter. Then it says, now uh, go back and do the t go to test again. And I think what you do is you hold down the mode button and you go to. RA and deck, you hit go to, enter, enter, and it does sleuth. As the instruction said, it will move one hour in RA. So that's the procedure. Now I'm going to see, let's get out of this. Well, let's scroll through it and see if the time changed. Time did change, so we're gonna leave everything on. Go back to mode. I'm gonna put the hand controller down and I'm gonna go start up ASCOM and Nina to see if that's going to change anything.
Now I'm going to start up ASCOM and I did load the most recent version and I'm going to tell it to connect to my telescope. Me generic is the driver I use. Say OK and connect. Now I'm going to look at my hand controller to see if the time changed. So ASCOM is changing it. I'm going to run to do that same procedure to try to see if I can get it to change the time again. Okay. Now let's see it go to the times, go to the time again in the hand controller and change it to 11 o'clock. And then it said go back to the slew command, enter. Enter. And it slewed for that other hour. But that means it's going to be off because previously it just slewed. So the time did change in the hand controller. Let's see if Nina's going to change it again. Let's bring up Nina. Go to the telescope and see if Nina's going to give me a one hour off error. And it did not. So, in conclusion, it appears ASCOM is changing the time after I've already run the procedure to correct the time. Interesting.